Ben, it would be really nice if if the, the powers that be could just take the bait on this already and just send us back to Homestead, Miami for the for the championship weekend. Um, man, that was that was really fun. And I gotta credit Lee Diffie. He made an uh, another iconic call and just his few uh weekends as as the man for NBC. Um it was something along the lines of he didn't just use the he used the boards, he ripped them apart. I mean, that was uh, when I heard that, I was like, oh, instant classic. Like, Lee just helped make that an instant classic. But also, Tyler Reddick made that an instant classic because, man, that was just a case of who wanted it more. And Tyler Reddick overpowered them on the outside. Denny Hamlin and Ryan Blaney didn't see it coming. And it, that, and Jeff Burton also added that on the broadcast as well. Like, this wasn't a case where it was um, an instance where someone was the weaker link. You know, it, they were all good, and Ryan Ryan Blaney and Denny Hamlin w- were not doing anything wrong. Tyler Reddick was just faster, <laughs> and on older tires, it doesn't make any sense. But he was on that alternate strategy there, and it just it paid off in in the best way. Michael Jordan celebrating in Miami on pit road, it it just looked great. It's a great look for the entire sport, and yes, uh, that that along with the other. Uh, times we've been here. I mean, it was a little bit of a snooze fest two years ago, I think, whenever Kyle Larson led a majority of the race. But I mean, it was a different part of the year. I I think we're um, having it closer to November, maybe maybe make some changes in in the the weather. But still, this track is is special with uh, it was special with the Gen 6 car. And it's 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 still sort of special here with this Gen 7 and Gen 7 doesn't like too many places. It, I think it, it likes this place. It's not as easy to slide job as it was, I think, with the Gen 6 car, but it's got its own, own – the Gen 7 has its own sort of character of how you drive it, and Homestead is still Homestead. It is it is the best mile-and-a-half track we go to on the calendar, and it, it deserves to be back in the championship uh, weekend if if they will allow it. Yeah, I think it really is the perfect place uh, for the finale, and especially – with this next gen car, obviously its strengths being the mile and a half and the intermediates and homestead, as you said, Brandon, being, I think in a lot of fans' minds, the best mile and a half that we have on the schedule, just the racing there has been phenomenal year in and year out. Um, you know, there have been a couple of uh, races that there are the exception of that. I'm thinking of, uh, I think Kyle Busch's 2019 championship was, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously you had the package that we we all uh, know and love and uh, have been very uh, happy to forget about um, that kind of played a factor in Nevada. I think that one only got like 30% on the Gluck poll, which for a homestead race is incredibly low. Um, I don't know, maybe Kyle Busch's uh, lack of popularity with uh, certain fans maybe played a role in that as well. A combination of both. Yeah, for for sure. But I think on the whole, the racing in homestead, uh, regardless of ER, ever since they reconfigured it, um, for the final time has been uh, very, very good. And not just in, in Cup as well. We've seen it in, in Trucks and Xfinity, uh, also giving us several classics there. Um, and you know what? I, I mean, I don't want to be too much of a Debbie Downer here today. I mean, fans uh, of, of this show, people who follow me on social media know how I feel about the playoff format. I don't need to beat a dead horse there. Uh, but I will say this. If we're going to keep this format, and it sounds like we, you know, higher ups in the sports seem to seem to really like this format and like the drama that it provides. And we certainly got that uh, uh, yesterday. I think we have to have this track as the finale. And, and again, I don't want to, the way this season has gone, I mean, we, we just saw, I think what a lot of people think was the best finish of the year. And that's in a year where we had a three wide photo finish at Atlanta, where the spread between the top three was what? Seven thousandths of a second. We had a, a one, one thousandth of a second, finish that the computer was even too close for the computer to recognize. I thought Chris Busher had beaten Kyle Larson. It was actually the other way around. And we had a, a thrilling battle uh, where Busher got uh, his redemption and got the win uh, over SVG at Watkins Glen, beating one of the best road course racers in the world uh, to do that. And in a year where we had all of that, we still have a finish that arguably topped all three of those here. We've been absolutely spoiled. So I don't want to say definitively, but I can say with about 99 0.9% confidence based on the trends of the last two years, based on the kind of racing that we've gotten across the board at Phoenix since we made it a championship finale. I don't think it will get better than that. I, I have a very hard time seeing, I mean, Brett Griffin, God bless him. Maybe, uh, you know, he's just trying to speak it into existence on, on social media this weekend, but 
Uh, I don't think Phoenix will get better than that. I'm sorry to all the race fans uh, in Arizona there. Um, you know, I just I think it's going to be very hard to top what we saw yesterday. And so in light of that, I hope that, you know, whatever talks there, uh, you know, that are ongoing with with Homestead and Miami and uh, with NASCAR and, you know, whoever's involved in that, I, I just really hope that we can find a way to, to bring the schedule uh, back to a point where we can crown our champions here. Because, again, I'm a realist. I know that this format's not going anywhere. And if we're going to keep this format, I think, you know, having it at a mile and a half where driver skill can make a difference, where we see great racing, as we clearly saw uh, this weekend, um, you know, I think Homestead's the perfect place to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And it, there's something about beginning your season in Florida and ending it in Florida. That's true that, as well. That's just, yeah. It's been a it's been a pastime, and yes, it is the the past way of doing it. it does not and that doesn't always um, mean that it's the the right way of doing it. But uh, in this case, I, I think you would be you'd be hard pressed to find the majority of fans that wouldn't that wouldn't uh, be opposed to it coming back to to Miami at least for maybe a four or five year run and and see where we where we lie there with the Gen Seven as it. Uh, comes into uh, adolescence, as I heard someone say. Yeah, that's a good term for it, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's it's about yeah. to grow out of the house. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, again, that was just, it was, a, again, another situation, you know, the 2019 race notwithstanding, um, probably just a, a situation where they fixed something that wasn't broken. Um, you know, I don't think too many people were complaining about having uh, the championship decided at Phoenix or a season finale. Uh, or at home, at Homestead, rather, I mean. I, I don't think very many people were asking for it to be uh, at Phoenix, is, is what I meant to say, I suppose. I don't. I think maybe some people were saying, if we're going to have this format, we should rotate it every year. And I think you're seeing that uh, sentiment pop up again here uh, with, with it being Homestead this week. And I think those are the two options. I don't think we should be going to Phoenix. Again, no disrespect to the fans in Arizona, but I think, you know, you look past the locals, not too many people have been hyped about a Phoenix uh, championship finale. And I think as we saw in the truck series uh, last year, just the – the way that track is designed with late race restarts really just leads to the opportunity for too much uh, chaos for us to be uh, crowning a champion with a one race winner take all uh, system with four drivers. So I think those are your two options, probably bring it back to Homestead or rotate around on an annual basis and let different tracks have a turn at crowning our champions. And, and also the, the, another reason that Miami is just, it, it was the perfect place to have your championship race, especially with this format is it's, it's sort of that very, vanilla it's great but it's like you know it's that vanilla banked not too much banked not not flat four corners mile and a half very standard very like if you're if you're doing a scientific experiment on who should be your champion it's a very base you know template to to do that phoenix is not really a base template it is a certain type of place that one would assume curtails to certain type of driving styles. I think we've seen Christopher Bell and, and uh, his chances, if he's able to sneak his way into the championship four uh, of how well he could do there simply because of his, his skill set at Phoenix. But that's another reason I think it was a, a perfect championship lo locale is just because of how, how neutral it, it is. You know, you don't, you, and that that's why you want to rotate it too, because, you know, at least you're changing it up. But if we had a base place, that that decides the champion then you you know you'll get you know that a well-rounded more hopefully a, a more well-rounded champion in theory yeah well but again and, and again i don't want to you know beat a dead horse too much here you know we've got a, a, a long show ahead of us but um i think just another another reason why i struggle with the idea of a one race winner take all is because you know as we know tyler reddick you know how did he win his two xfinity series championships you know he, he what homestead is arguably his number one track, his best track. And Kyle Larson's the same way with how those guys can run the high line, how much the high line is an advantage. If you can get up close to a wall and not uh, run into it all day, um, you know, Kyle Larson's a master at that as well. Uh, you know, he was saying in his post-race interviews that he took what he felt like was a, a 20th or 25th place car and was contending for the win there at the end. Obviously, he he did that half spin at the end of the race and that kind of uh, compromised his, uh, his, his chances to be fighting for it there at the end. Um, but you know, we, we were saying, you know, back when Homestead was still the finale, when Larson was driving that Ganassi car, like if Larson could just get to the championship four, you know, he would have a great shot at winning uh, a championship. But obviously it took until uh, he got over to Hendrick uh, for, for him to get that opportunity. And, if, you know, he's 
won a championship at Phoenix and, uh, you know, wouldn't put another championship uh, past him here in the not too distant future, maybe as soon as a couple of weeks from now, we'll see. Um, but I, I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be an interesting uh, talking point and conversation. I'm sure all throughout next year, but fingers crossed when we get that 26 schedule, maybe we can go back uh, to having Homestead as a championship decider. And, and I know we're beating a dead horse, but one more thing, you don't have to comment on just one more thing about it. Uh, also the championship race with this format it, it absolutely is a lot more about those four drivers than it is about the track. Like the, the way that it's presented, it can be anywhere. The, the track doesn't matter. It doesn't, the, the broadcast doesn't care. I mean, it does, but it, you know, when it comes down to the storylines, it's not about the track. It's about those four drivers, where they are on the racetrack. End of story. All right. We'll leave it there. We'll catch up on the chat room before we move on here. Joe says Homestead Miami with a spring gate. Either it'll be a great spring break tradition or it won't work and needs to move back to the championship race. Well, we tried that a, a couple of uh, years ago, right? I think 2020, we had, right? 2020. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, 2020 well, yeah. kind of gets the, uh, the asterisk there. I think I feel like that was the first race back uh, with fans, right? Didn't they let like a thousand, uh, you know, essential personnel or something in, into the track? I feel like that was that might have been the first race. That's a little uh, fuzzy. We had some, some fans in the stands there. Um, yeah, NASCAR and uh, and I guess Florida was was one of the states that reopened a little bit sooner. So um, you know, kind of leading the way and uh, getting getting back. I mean, that was that was just a it's on a weird course. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. I mean, that it's it's not it's not Desperate a great time. Yeah, but we did we did go back to Homestead early in the in the twenty twenty one season as well. Um, so I I don't know. I mean, again, you know, Miami certainly uh, you know a destination. Uh, city in that regard, although, you know, Homestead Miami is even, I think, a little bit further south than that. I don't know if you've ever looked at Homestead Miami on, like, a satellite map, but there was, like, literally nothing south of Homestead. It's like, you, you get to it's Homestead Miami Speedway, <laughs> and then it's just, like, you know, 40 miles of back roads down to the uh, Florida Keys, I guess, or whatever. I mean, it's li it's literally, like, the southernmost point of the civilization there in many respects, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, that 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 is, I suppose, an argument for having it uh, in the spring. I don't know. Maybe it could be one of the tracks that we go to twice. I think, you know, the racing's good enough to maybe justify that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I would certainly, again, if I could only get one, I would much rather have it. If we're going to have it this time of year, just make it a championship race for sure. And uh, I think Adam agrees with that, as well as uh, many other fans. You know, like Homestead, the season finale needs to go back. We'll see if they do just that here uh, in a couple of years' time. 